Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 2 of your turtle programming tutorials. This episode we're going to be looking at making an automatically refueling turtle and a turtle that can bypass blocks in its way using certain dig functions. Now if we want to make a turtle that you know has um, an, an automatic digging function, uh, we need to give it a pick. So if we actually get the turtle, so we have our turtle, we're going to put it in a crafting table with a diamond pickaxe and we're going to make a mining turtle and that's what this turtle does is it's a mining turtle that it can move but it can also mine blocks in its way so if we go into the turtle and if we change directory to our disk backslash turtle uh, which is the one we made last tutorial it's going to take us straight to that one straight to the turtle one and now we're going to make a script to automatically refuel the turtle and the way we do this is we say edit and then we're going to say, like, name our script. So let's name this one move. Okay. And because Lua is sort of like a top to bottom language, we have to put everything, all our variables up at the top. And at the very bottom of the script, we write what we want to do with all of those variables. And we, what we want to do is we want to make something called a function or a method if you are programmed in a different language. Um, it's, and what a, a function or a method does is it executes um, certain lines of code without you having to type them over and over and over again in different lines of code. So it's basically a shortcut key. And the way we do this is what we're going to do is we're going to type function and then we're going to call this function, let's turn this one day, function refuel. But because refuel is already a command with the turtles, it's, it's bad practice to do this. So what we're going to say is we're going to call this um, refuel. Uh, turtle. So we're going to put two parentheses after this and we're going to just gonna go down two lines and type end. So we're going to end this function. So the function starts, it's called refuel turtle and we're going to end it there. So everything after that end has nothing to do with this function. It's its own function. So in this function what we want to do is we want to check the turtle's fuel level. So we're going to make a statement called an if statement that is conditional upon another variable. So we're going to say if turtle so if the turtle dot get fuel level so if the turtle's fuel level is less than 10 what we want to do is we want to refuel it so if the turtle's fuel level is less than 10 then we're going to end it this is just syntax so uh, this is the if statement here right here in here from this if to the end so it starts at the if and it ends at the end which seems logical so what we're going to do is we're going to say if it's less than 10 we're going to say turtle dot select we want to select the slot one and then we want to say turtle dot refuel one piece of coal so we're going to get one piece of coal from that slot and just refuel that one piece of slot uh, fuel and then we're going to print something to the screen saying like uh, refueled so print and then we put two quotation marks and we're going to say refueled like like that so I refueled, that's it, okay? So now what we wanna do is we want to make uh, the actual part of the code, oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button, uh, so move. So I want to actually make the part of the code where the is gonna move. So first we wanna save our code, so we do control S, don't hold them, just hit control, hit S, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to make an infinite loop, so this will always run. So we're gonna keep on running it no matter what. So whilst true, do, and what that's going to do is it's going to keep on running. So while the whilst the variable in where true is is true, and true is equal to true, so it's going to carry on anyway. We're going to do what is ever inside here up until the end. So whilst the true is equal to true, which it always is, so infinite loop. So while this is going to happening uh, every as fast as it can, we're going to say. Um, if we're going to make another if statement and we're going to say turtle dot detect and what this does and we say then and then we're going to go down and end it what this does is it detects if the turtle has a block in front of it and we want to then break that block if that um if that if it is there so what to do this what we do is type turtle dot dig so turtle is going to dig in front of it like that and then we're going to say down here after this end statement we're going to say turtle dot uh, forward like that so the turtle is going to or oh, I think it's move forward um, oh no it's just forward uh, but if we're going to say if there's a block in front of the turtle then dig it 
and then move forwards. But you know, the turtle might not have any fuel in it, so right at the top of this um, you know, infinite loop, we want to use this refuel turtle function that we made. So if we go down here and we say refuel turtle, like that, it's going to check if we need to refuel the turtle, then it's going to do its stuff. So let's get some coal, let's stick it in this first slot, and let's save this and then press control E. And you know, let's make it prove something. So let's say turtle dot select two. So we move to the second slot, and if type exit like that, we're gonna break out of here. So if we now say, if we now place a few blocks in front of this turtle, you know, like here and up there, you know, that's a bit uh, like this, and then one here and there. We're gonna now check if this works. So if we type move. The turtle's going to refuel, it's going to move forward, it's going to dig the blocks wherever it needs to. And you'll see the turtle actually has now selected, oh god, it's selected its first slot like that. And it's going to take the blocks and it's going to put them there. So if we keep on following this turtle, uh, its fuel level has gone up, you know, quite a bit. So it's refueled once now, and you see it's taken one, we had 61 to start with. It's taken one piece of coal out. And actually I'm in front of it so it can't move, so let's move out the way of it. And let's just watch it move for a little bit until we can see it's refueled again. Um, so every time it moves, it's checking if it can move, basically. Uh, and that is something that is actually very helpful and we will be using in later tutorials to check if it can still mine, you know, if we want to make it a quarry or something. See, it's refueled again, and now we're on 59. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This was just a, a very quick tutorial on how to make this sort of turtle. And if I actually come back over here, a turtle that you know bypasses blocks and type turtle that automatically refuels. Uh, if I come back over here to the, the disk drive, I can place the turtle back on the side of it. I can say cd disk backslash turtle, and I can say dir, and we'll see that we have the auto ref or not the auto refuel. I need to delete the auto refuel. Uh, that was just me testing something. Refuel. Right, there we go. And that deletes or refuel. That's something else we need to do. We need to know. So we go dir. We still have that move one, and we can call the move method again. Um, we can call the move method again, or the move, the, the, I don't have any coal in it, um, there we go, uh, the move script again, and the turtle will continue to move, and there we go, break the block. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time, where we're going to be starting on doing sort of like coordinates, and moving turtles to specific coordinates, so I'll see you guys next time.